cancer, heart attack, uh, type 2 diabetes, macular degeneration. We know aging is the main risk factor for all of these diseases. If you target the aging pathway, you suppress all of these diseases together and you delay them together so that you can have healthier years of life. And this is not just a, sort of a, our dream, it, it is the reality of what we can accomplish in the lab today in, in animal models. Try to picture in your mind a Ford pickup truck from 1940, all rusted, no tires. So you would say this is an old truck. Now try to picture the same truck in the hands of a collector who has constantly changed and repaired everything. These two trucks would have the same chronological age, but would have very different biological age. And the difference between the two is a lack of maintenance and repair. Age is plastic, it's malleable. It's not rigidly determined by how old you are, it's more how, how well you are actually aging. So current medicine, we call it healthcare, but it's actually sick care. The key thing is to um, really change medicine from being reactive to being proactive. That is, you know, instead of treating sick people, taking healthy people and trying to really give them the best advice on what to do and how they can age. Both nutrition and exercise can activate these repair mechanisms. So these are the two areas that I think are probably the most important today for, for the population at large, is really to understand what can I do, how should I eat, and how should I exercise. But we're also working on, on other approaches, which is based on medicine, uh, identifying drugs that might actually do recapitulate some of the same effects as exercise or fasting or, or diet. The last one is the whole idea of rejuvenation medicine, identifying ways in which we can repair a, a, a heart attack, in which we can repair if you have a stroke. Uh, so, and, and that's a science that's mostly based on stem cell biology. For the last 150 years, every decade, uh, we have gained two years of lifespan, which is pretty remarkable uh, by itself. And so this study that claims that uh, a child born today would, would have a life expectancy of 104 is based on these numbers. And it, it carries you know, incredible implications in terms of society uh, because of it will force us to really dramatically reorganize the way we think about, about aging and the role that aging people will play uh, in society.